Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. My name is Matthew, and right in front of me is Rachel. Hello, hello. So today we're heading to the Arctic to check out some polar bears. I know you guys like polar bears. I love polar bears. I do also. Also known as the sea bear or Ursus maritimus. Yep, and we are going to check out these polar bears in Canada. We're about 60% of the world's polar bears reside, actually. Oh, yeah. That was a really cool fact. Um, and specifically, we're headed to Churchill in the province of Manitoba. It's often called the polar bear capital of the world. That's actually what the town sign says. And uh, it's supposed to be the best place in the world to view them. The town itself isn't really, it's, I mean, it's nothing special. It's kind of a tiny little town. It's got about a thousand residents. And you can't even reach it by road. You actually either have to take a train or a plane. And why do polar bears flock here? Well, I'll tell you. It's close in proximity to the Hudson Bay, okay? On which, by the way, polar bears hunt when the sea ice forms on top so they can actually walk across. So this pack ice is vital to their cutesy wootsy seal murdering strategies. Now, uh, I think that's funny because they murder seals. I okay. just think it's funny that you said cutesy wootsy. <laughs> so polar bears flock to Churchill in the fall. Uh, and then tourists also flock there to see the bears. So it gets really crowded in Churchill with mm -hmm. lots of bears and people uh -huh. running around, uh, all of them trying to eat something. Uh, so the most popular way to see them is actually by uh, on this thing called the tundra buggy. Yep, and uh, the tund tundra buggy is this big tricked out kind of um, modified vehicle that um, people get into and it allows them to go out onto the tundra and actually see the bears in a safe way. Yes, not get eaten. Yes. Uh, because bears, well, they're pretty tall and we've learned this before in one of our other podcasts, but uh, these bears specifically, they're really tall. These bears take the cake. Yes, they're they do. Actually, you know, polar bears are actually the largest terrestrial carnivore. Wow. All the more frightening. So a male can be eight to 10 feet tall when it's standing on its hind legs. So the buggies have to be tall, much taller than that. So for some perspective on these guys, uh, let's think about this. The tires on these buggies are five and a half feet tall. They're, uh, they're three and three fifths feet wide. And uh, you know the best part? What's the best part? 25 inch rims. Excellent. So Rachel, these bears are huge, eh? Mm -hmm. An adult can weigh more than 1,500 pounds. The biggest one ever recorded, 2,209 pounds. Yikes. Um, another cool polar bear fact, Matt, I know you will love this. Yes. Um, polar bear hair is not actually white. What? what are you talking about? The hair shafts are hollow and transparent, so they actually, the light kind of reflects through them. Just, got, just like the snow reflects white, the polar bears reflect white, but their hair is not actually white. What if they were in a place that didn't have snow everywhere? Would they be green? Like if they were in a jungle? Well, I was. I read one account that said um, some polar bears, I think it was in captivity, they actually got um, algae on them and so they were kind of greenish. Also, polar bear skin is black. Wow, I want to see a shaved polar bear. So the bears of Churchill are famous <laughs> for sparring, okay? Now, this is important. Um, kind of like Matt and I do every morning, but you know, <laughs> on, on a bigger scale. <laughs> Yes, and they have claws, giant claws. Yes. Uh, so they stand on their hind legs and they basically wrestle, I guess you could call it. Uh, the younger bears is a way to build skills, much like uh, a lot of other small animals. Um, and they also learn how to uh, survive and mate in this way. They just kind of learn what you need to do. The older bears, though, it's the real thing. They actually, they fight. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine a 1,500 pound bear engaged in a dirty boxing match? That is intense. Just getting in close and then shooting an uppercut. and then I'd like to be outside the ring for that. Well, uh, aside from the bears, um, there's actually more cool stuff to see in Churchill. Um, you can also check out the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis. And polar bears are not the only large white creatures that hang out in Churchill. In the summer, you can also see some beluga whales. They're pretty common in the waters near, near Churchill. Oh, yeah. You can see them from a boat. You can snorkel with them, or you can kayak out to see them. And I want to ask you, Matt, um, about beluga whales. Have you ever, did you go to the Georgia Aquarium that we have here in Atlanta? Oh, yes, I And did. have you seen the beluga whales? Yes, I have. They're just so cute. They have the most, um, like, expressive faces. Uh, yes, and Rachel, I do believe that man evolved from the beluga whale. <laughs> All right, then. So, uh, so that's Churchill. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great place to check out big white animals, white frozen wastes, and pretty colors in the sky. That's true. And if you want to learn more about polar bears, beluga whales, or the northern lights, head to HowStuffWorks.com. And we will see you next time. 
For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes. <laughs>